Do what you got to do to win the game. You know, it's, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You want to win. You know, whatever you got to do to get the stop. You know, things that you've learned through from through the game and stuff like that, and what what they've done. You know, but you know that was the message when they were going out on the field. You know, whatever we got to do to win the game. And obviously, going you know, North Texas came into the game prolific offense and everything. And uh -huh. so just what was the you know what was the mindset going into it, knowing that um, it could potentially be an up and down battle in terms of. Score. Play the next play. I mean, regardless, you know, and I, I thought we did a good job of that, you know, reacting to different things. But just it's always on defense. It's a play the next play mentality. I mean, it's in next guy up mentality and all that. You know, whatever happened on the, the next play can be completely different. You know, so just having that mindset, every play, what you got to do differently, or you know, maybe we got to maybe we got to change a little bit of this, or change, you know, get a better angle to the ball, you know, and tackle better and things like that. You know, it's all that stuff goes into one play on defense. You know, and your eyes are wrong and you're a step late, and you you got a bad angle. That's what happens on defense. I uh, just, I mean, angle, you know, being able to see the ball in different angles. And obviously, you know, I, I talk about it every week. You got to be able to tackle. You got to be able to tackle every week. And every tackle is different. Like, it's not just you're going to go out there and tackle this way today and that way, because every tackle's got a different angle to it. Every, they're all trying to manipulate your eyes. They're all trying to manipulate your feet. But just angles and being able to get to those tackles and where your eyes are on contact, are your feet stopping, all those things. And every player has a different deficiency that you have to look through. You know, and it's how you match those things up, that's just reality on defense. You told us every week there's going to be guys who play. You didn't play in the past. Reggie Grimes played a lot on mm -hmm. that sack. What's the question about Yeah, that? just he's come along, you know, in his attitude through the whole thing. Obviously, you know, you go back seven games ago, he didn't play. I don't know if he played in the first game. He might have played two snaps or something. And just every week, you know, it's the same thing I preach to him every week. You know, if you get two plays, make them the best two plays that you've ever played in your life. And then the next time you go, you play six plays. And then the next time you go, you play 12. And then you, Reggie's getting to almost 20 now and things like that. And he's just kept his nose down and worked. And that's, that's the reality. I mean, the seasons are long, all that stuff that goes into it. You have to show up every day no matter what happened, and you got to go back to work and continue to work, whether you win, lose, whatever it is. And that's what Reggie's done. That's just the type of guys they are, you know, and that, that's what they've shown. I mean, I, I've been a part of been a part of team. You give up, give up 21 points in the first eight plays on defense, you know, and then from eight play eight to play 70, they didn't cross the line again. You know, that that shows the heart and the character that they've got, you know, and that's 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 built within them. You know, a couple of times we met on the sideline and talked through things and stuff like that, and you know, just being being able to battle the storm and go through those things and, you know, come back and get some turnovers and do some stuff, get some four-town stops. You know, I'm proud of them for that, but it doesn't change the work of what we got to get done every week. Just, what have you noticed from the Charlotte team after the suspension of a, a very fast pace of QAQ teams last year? I mean, everybody's got – I mean, everybody in this league, they got players. I mean, every – Every team you play on offense has the ability to score every play. I mean, it doesn't matter what it now. It might be in different ways and things like that, but you just have to be able to be multiple on defense and move guys around, give yourself as good of angles to give those guys an, an, an advantage, you know, on defense. And that's that's what they got to do. What Charlotte has done is a little bit of everything. You know, they've been they've been a little bit of everything. They've played multiple quarterbacks. They've played all these different guys. You know, they for the last two weeks, I think they've rushed for what, 600 yards. You know, 300 and 250 yards in the last two weeks. So, you know, there's different ways, you know, but they can also throw the big ball. They can do those things. You got to defend everything in college. You talk about Grimes staying the course and he was getting limited plays. I'm sure there's other players on the team, similar conversations. But how have you liked the way that the guys who were waiting their turn have, have stayed in it mentally? I love it. I mean, and that's, that's you know, it's, it doesn't matter. In this profession, you know, everybody everybody wants to be the head coach right now. Everybody wants to be the coordinator. Everybody wants to be the starter. Every, no matter if you're whatever, whatever, in this profession, the guys that survive it and have the most success are the guys that just put their head down and work. That's That's been proven over time. It's the guys that sit down and wait their turn, put their, put their work in, keep working. And I tell the players that. It's the same thing as a player. You know, you keep your head down and you work. And you're not expecting anything, but you're putting the work in every day. You got an opportunity. You're giving yourself an opportunity. If you're worried about things you can't control, you got a problem. On Charlie, Hassan Wilson had a breakout game last year against you guys. Yeah. Now he's obviously been a, a much more big part of the offense. How do you slow him down? Uh, 
angles, speed, tackling, all that stuff, working together. It's going to be multiple people having to leverage the ball back where it is. You know, he's not the only threat they got. Five's a really good back. Zero's a really good back. You know, they've all had breakout games at some point. You know, it's not about one player. You know, and that's that's the thing with defense. Like you can't go out there and say, man, we really got to stop this guy. There's a, there's a bunch of guys that can roll. So you got to be able to play team defense every week. It doesn't make any difference who's out there. You got to play team defense and play ball. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Appreciate it.